What's going on everyone? In this video today, I'm going to be showing you all how to port forward your Minecraft server. And what port forwarding allows you to do is it allows anyone in the world to join your Minecraft server by using your public IPv4 address. Now let's begin. Step one to port forwarding your Minecraft server is stopping your Minecraft server if it's already running. Once you've stopped your Minecraft server, you can close out of the CMD window. Step two is logging into your router's homepage. So this does vary depending on your router, but it's all pretty similar in the end. And all you're going to need to do this is simply just find your router's homepage. For Xfinity, it's 10.0.0.1, but for, say, ASUS, I'll use this as an example. You can just look up ASUS home page router or something like this, and you can just find a simple guide like this, and it'll have a link to the router's homepage, and it'll provide what the default username and password are if you've never logged into this homepage before. And for me, I've actually never changed mine, and they're still the default, so, so I'm just going to use the default Xfinity login. And I'm going to have this all blurred out here because I don't want to leak any of my Wi-Fi info, but... You should see something with a bunch of menus on the side and there should be an option for port forwarding. And once you find the port forwarding tab, just simply click on add port forward. And here's where you'll wanna find your device's local IPv4 address. And I'll be showing two methods for finding your device's local IPv4 address, one for Windows and one for Mac. Now, if you're hosting your Minecraft server from a Windows machine, simply type in CMD to open up the command prompt in the search bar and then just type in ipconfig. Once you've typed that in, you're just gonna to wanna to look for IPv4 address. And this is right here is the address that we'll need to import into the port forwarding settings on your router's homepage, because this will be the address that we are port forwarding in order for your friends to join your server. And on macOS, all you have to do is simply open up system preferences, go to network. And if you're on Wi-Fi or Ethernet, simply just look over below connected and it'll say Wi-Fi is connected to your network and has the IPv4 address blah, 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 and this is also your local IPv4 address. Once you've noted down your IPv4 address, simply go back into the port forwarding settings on your router's homepage, type in that IPv4 address, and with Xfinity, they actually have the option to select the device's name rather than using the address, but for most of you guys, it will be the address you'll have to type in. Then for the port number, type in 25565, and then leave TCP UDP as default and make sure they're both enabled because Minecraft servers do need that in order to run properly. And you won't need that at a port range. Once you have all these settings filled out here, just click next or save, and you now have successfully port forward your Minecraft server. And the last step to this tutorial here is finding out what your public IPv4 address is. And this will be the address that your friends use to join the Minecraft server. And the easiest way to do this is simply just typing in what is my IP address dot com and I will have this also linked down below. And I will have both of these blurred because I don't really want to leak my IP. But you're just going to want to look for IPv4 on this website here. And this will be the IP that you give to your friends so that they can join your Minecraft server. Now you're going to want to go ahead and start your server back up again. And we can actually test out to make sure that the port forwarding is working correctly by going over to another device and adding a server. And putting the server address as that public IPv4 address that we just found clicking done, and then go ahead and join the server to make sure that's working. And as you can see, it's working flawlessly. So you've now successfully port forward your Minecraft server. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And thank you all so much for watching.